Thank you very much for this opportunity. And I also thank you for the introduction. A lot more than I deserve, but it sounded like a matrimonial column, but it doesn't help me. Because <clears throat> end of this month, I would be 91. I'll give you some brief background and picture how we got involved in the adult literacy mission. It was one of the things that we have been, I have been deeply concerned about the education system as say, and then it was the adults. If a person can't read, he cannot participate in the political process that this a democracy needs. Apart from that, there are other things also. And then, at that time, I was given a figure of 100 million adult illiterates. Of course, it, the figures keep on varying from year to year. But the thing is that a sizable portion of the population is an adult is illiterate. So then the question was look at what is happening and what we found was the mission literacy mission, education mission at the central level which provided to make an illiterate into literate over about 200 or 250 hours of instructions spread over almost year, year and a half. And uh, basically treating an adult as a school-going child. Now that is something we thought, this is not, so why, why, sh why we should see not why we should see. We should see why <coughs> it cannot be accelerated and ex So first thing was, what is the purpose of making an adult literate? Can we do it in the shortest possible time? And we looked at it, what he should be able to do at the end of his training. And being in computer business for the last so many years, and I've used computers for power systems long before anybody else started, because first 20 years of my life were with the Tata Power. And uh, so we said, well, there is technology available, there are other things available, now why can't we still so it started out of it that first, what would be the objective of making an adult literate? We said the objective should be that he should be able to read the newspaper. Because then he becomes the part of the political process, part of the country, and sees how country takes certain decisions or what the country needs. We looked at the other <coughs> adult literacy program, as I said earlier, it was more than 200 hours. It was reading, writing, and uh, number work. We deliberated and we said, first looking at number work, if I give 100 rupees to any villager, who's not literate, he keeps an account of 100 rupees. So what number of work do I have to teach him? If he have to teach him, he can learn on his own. I don't. The second thing was the writing. I said we should leave something, the person to learn on his own. But first thing is, our <clears throat> mission is that he should be able to participate 
in the political process or his village panchayat or whatever it is. And uh, so, and also what we said, being the computer people, that we will see how the computer technology can be used. And it was, all the lessons were prepared, which were flashed on the computer screen. And what I want to tell you that for this exercise, right from the beginning we use those computers with TCS discarded. They are good enough. The screens are good enough, other things, and we could program them. Uh, well, <clears throat> anything which is over five years, we said, would also do. And uh, so it was, that is where it got the term computer-based functional literacy. And uh, the lessons were designed actually using the two senses, that is the hearing and seeing. And uh, they were done in such a way that, that both hearing and seeing will imprint in person's brain very effectively the word. Then the other thing was that actually what it meant was that we were <coughs> working with the cognition process in the human beings. And uh, taking that further, we devised the lessons and those lessons were not only limited to words. The people learned the alphabet in the reverse. As because they, they learned the alphabets by the sounds sounds of the words. And uh, this was first started in, in uh, Andhra Pradesh and the lessons were prepared in Taligo. And the uh, first class that we had was outside Hyderabad in Baram Guda. And uh, I think we are nine or ten ladies who volunteered to take that. And they were all about <coughs> 24, 25. And on the third day we found that this system that we had designed is working. And it worked. And we have made it clear to them you will have to learn writing but that you will learn on your own. You can do whatever and there was a reason for it, that these adults can draw a donkey, draw a horse and all that. For them to reproduce the word is not going to be very difficult and that is what was proved. And uh, the whole idea was, as I said, to read a newspaper. At the end of the uh, the sessions which were